Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nurse Ventura and today we're going to talk about how to become a nurse in Ireland. I didn't know uh, much about uh, the Republic of Ireland or be very proud of yourself na lahat yun accomplished nyo. Sobrang stress for you guys because don't do it. So I don't really recommend. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nurse Ventura and today in this video, I'm going to share to you how I became a nurse in Ireland. So paano nga ba ako nag-apply dito sa Ireland? If you watch this video guys, I'm going to share my timeline, the requirements, um, the struggles, and also the reward of my nursing journey here in Ireland. So better watch this video until the end if nagbabala kayong pumunta, mag-apply, magtrabaho um, dito sa Ireland. So without further ado, let's proceed with the vlog. So guys, just a quick background. Back in 2013 to 2017, I was working in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia as a nurse. I'm an ICU nurse and in between those years um, I had a bittersweet overall experience in, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and back in 2017 I have um, a couple of friends already who went here in Ireland and I thought to myself bakit nga ba hindi ko itry mag-apply sa Ireland like I didn't know uh, much about uh, the Republic of Ireland or you know the Emerald Isle I saw a couple of movies that were shot in Ireland deep here and uh, P.S. I love you. But hindi ko talaga naisip mag-work dito prior uh, because I didn't know much about it. What are the steps that I followed um, to apply as a nurse in Ireland? First of all, nag-research muna ako kung ano yung mga requirements. And also, I asked my uh, friends about, about it. And I applied for my um, IELTS, my English exam. First requirement, guys, you have to have your IELTS exam result. Um, yun yung first thing na inasikaso ko when I decided to apply as a nurse here in Ireland. When I was in Saudi, um, I was reviewing for my IELTS, but um, I felt na I, will, I won't be as efficient if I review ko nang, uh, by myself compared if I enroll ako sa review center. Uh, because back in Saudi, I wasn't really confident in speaking and uh, writing is okay uh, in English, but then with the speaking, guys, I was struggling to. And we're going to try mountain bike check <laughs> I was struggling with the review because yung, yung mga speaking mock test ko sa IELTS um, I did really I didn't really do well and also I had a very low self esteem when it comes to speaking English so what I did when I finally made up my mind that I will work in Ireland and the Emerald Isle by hook or by crook is um, I quit my job in Saudi Arabia and I went back home back in March 2017 with the plan to enroll myself in a review center for the IELTS examination. I took the IELTS with prayer, hard prayer and hard work I passed luckily again. <laughs> so guys it was uh, really a big decision because you know for us Filipinos we sometimes we we don't have the luxury of like um having gaps in our uh, work because we're supporting um you know people our families and also we need to work but um i decided that you know i have to do this i enrolled myself for an intensive review for the ielts for the english test one month full review of the english examination and thankfully i passed uh, during my first try. So guys, passing the IELTS exam uh, needs a discussion on its own. So if you want me to discuss how I reviewed for my IELTS exam and how I passed the IELTS exam for the first time, please leave your comment down below. I will gladly make a vlog um, specifically for that. Passing After passing the IELTS exam, that was really the start of my application because without it, I couldn't really apply. I couldn't move forward without IELTS. So that's the first step that I did and that's the most difficult part of my application in my opinion because of you know it's an exam and it's it's you need preparation for that and the rest are just documents that you need to obtain from different institutions so guys after passing the IELTS exam the next step in your nursing application to Ireland um, so I don't know what I'm So I've downloaded the overseas registration form from the NMBI website. So the application costs like 350 euros. You have to register your credit card and pay for the application for the registration. It's a bit expensive. I know it's a lot of money, 350 euros, which is equivalent to like 22,000 pesos. But then my reimbursement, say, yung application fee. Once you're already 
uh, got your registration. So guys, when it comes to the NMBI registration, um, there's a lot of blog posts online that teaches the step-by-step -step process on how to apply for this. So I'd recommend going to the Filipino Nurses, um, Filipino Nurses in Ireland um, Facebook page. Yan, natuturo sila ng step-by-step -step guide on how to apply for your NMBI um, registration. And also, you can visit the NMBI website, which I'll put the link uh, down in the description below. And um, also, marami rin mga YouTube uh, videos or vlogs, uh, mga Filipino nurses here in Ireland that are teaching um, this um, application process. So, um, you have a lot of options. Pinakimahirapan guys, because everything will be available to you. All you need to do is follow the steps um, and then you'll be good to go. It's after the NMBI registration application, what's next? While I was in the process of completing my requirements for the NMBI, luckily there was this agency that advertised a job interview for Limerick, Ireland, for University Hospital Limerick. Um, in Manila. Nung nanaman ko na nag-hire sila for, um, Ireland, for Limerick, Ireland, so, um, I contacted them and they replied to me. So, they asked me for my passport, CV, IELTS result, NMBI decision letter if applicable. But that time, I was still processing my um, NMBI, so I didn't have the decision letter. But once they know that you have your decision letter um, application ongoing, in accommodate na Manila ako. But, Nowadays, um, the agencies I heard from the new applicants um, that came here recently, um, hindi na nagpaprocess yung agency. Most of them, medyo nagiba na yung processing yun because they want the decision letter in your hand before you apply. But back then, thankfully, um, they accepted us and they accepted me while I was in the process of um, completing my um, NMBI uh, requirements. Moving on guys, in between my, uh, in between completing the requir requirements for the NMBI registration and also um, waiting for the employer's interview um, for University Hospital Limerick, I practiced na ako ng mga um, um, interview questions and then I researched a little bit about the employer and also I applied in a private hospital in the Philippines and I worked at uh, in the ICU for a couple of months until I got the job offer. Just to avoid the clinical experience gap because, you know, because alam naman natin lahat ng mga employers, they don't want this uh, big gap in the application time. For me, it took nearly a year. So. so before the interview, guys, the agency asked me for a notarized copy of uh, certain documents like passport, birth certificate, um, college diploma, PRC license, and all of these things. I need a short break. So, you know, guys, July 2017, I was called in for an interview. An employer came to the Philippines, and then there were like 70 of us or more than 100 of us who came for the interview. And I think maybe mga around 60 nurses yung natanggap. So, guys, if you are curious about the interview, I made a vlog recently about my interview experience uh, for an ICU post in a university hospital here in uh, Ireland. So, I'll put the link somewhere here and feel free to watch it. And sana makatulong sa inyo. And I just want to share it um, for my fellow nurses. So, so guys, just a tip. If you're applying for a job abroad, just make sure that your passport is valid, like maybe three or five years valid um, from the moment you applied because it's hard to renew the passport when you're here. And sometimes, um, iaas din kayo ng mga ng agency or ng employer to renew your passport before you fly. So guys, let's recap the things that I did for my um, nursing application here in Ireland. So first of all, um, I told you about my IELTS um, exam. And then second, I registered for the um, NMBI registration. And then um, employer's interview. And then I applied as an ICU uh, staff nurse back home. Para wala kong, um, clinical experience gap. Then I passed my um, job interview. What was next? I'll share ko lang yung five sections na inaccomplish ko dun sa NMBI application. Um, being uh, a nurse who came from Saudi Arabia. Maybe you can relate to this, maybe not. Section one was all personal information. Copy of my IELTS results, certified copy of my birth certificate and my passport. So the next one is my PRC verification, which is the good standing uh, certificate. Then because I worked in Saudi, I also needed the Saudi Council um, verification, like yung equivalent ng PRC good standing in Saudi Arabia. So I had to accomplish that as well. Four is uh, employer's reference. And then the last one is your school credentials. Your TOR, your RLE. 
your TOR, your RLE. I started completing my requirements in August 2, 2017, and I finished all of them, all of the five sections, um, August 30, 2017. So it took me like the whole month para i process lahat ng papers. The process of completing the requirements, guys, they're, they're not easy. Um, masyado siyang matrabaho, magastos. All of those papers, kailangan mo siyang ipa-DHL, which costs like 2,500 pesos per document. Going back and forth to these um, places, your school, to your hospitals, and to PRC, if you're a little bit um, tight with your budget. But you know, guys, lahat ng sacrifices, meron naman kapalit. The struggles that I face, guys, yung nga yung pag-aasikaso, because uh, you need to spend, you know, a little bit of money para dun sa mga... Uh, pag fulfill ng mga requirements. But guys, don't worry when you're at the stage of your application. Uh, you are nearly there. Mat malapit na kayo matapos. And um, always remember na lahat ng mga sacrifices nyo ay magbubunga naman um, in the end. And you'll be very proud of yourself na lahat yun accomplish nyo. When at the start, parang hindi mo alam kung paano mo siya i-complete. Masyado matrabaho yung pag-apply sa abroad. So, once you've passed this stage, um, pwede na kayong uh, humingahinga ng konti and pwede na kayong mag um, to sell a little bit because you've already uh, done you've already done most of the, the job persistence and patience is the key and in the end I know uh, there's a good news waiting for you guys so after submitting all my requirements I just waited for my decision letter to come out and my decision letter came out in November 3, 2017. It took me nearly three months waiting time for the decision letter to come out. I'll tell you frankly that the, this, the waiting time for this decision letter is very stressful. <laughs> Sobrang stressful niya guys because you don't know if you're going to be rejected and um, you don't know if may mga papers na kailangan mong i-resend, kailangan may hihingin sa'yo, um, then your your section by section, um, magpe-pending siya dun sa, uh, when you're tracking online, and uh, everything, parang nakabit, parang nakapause yung life mo while you're waiting for this decision letter because this is, you know, at that time, yung parang pinaka-important na decision result na iniintay mo sa buhay mo. Um, for that particular time and on your application. I can advise to you when you're waiting for the decision letter to come out, just, I know it's easy for me to say this now because um, tapos na siya, but uh, believe me guys, uh, it will really help if you just uh, relax and stay positive. Because personally, when I was waiting for my decision letter, I was so stressed out and parang naapektuhan yung personal life mo and your work, yung work life mo because you're, because you're anxious about something and it wouldn't help you in any way. Um, it's just a waste of energy, a waste of your time to, to stress about this. Because once you already um, submitted all your requirements and kalama lang chill and you know, let the universe give you what you deserve. If there are delays along the way, it doesn't mean that that's the end of the road for you. You just have to maybe resubmit something or um, clarify something, and then mag move, and then mag move the man eventually yung application yung. When the decision letter came out, you know, happy days. Parang you're so proud of yourself um, for getting this far on the application process for um, your nursing job in Ireland. And that time, that was uh, the thing that I wanted most um, was to finish my. Uh, requirements and to work here in Ireland. It's all worth it guys um, to tell you honestly. Once the decision letter comes out, hindi pa doon natatapos ang proseso. For me, uh, may mga nangyaring delays. I have to wait for another uh, offer and I was really uh, worried that I won't, you know, I won't be able to go to Ireland. But then again, I would advise not to be a pessimist and not to think negatively about these things because eventually it worked out, it all worked out in the end and I ended up uh, here in this place and I really love it to tell you honestly. Even though I was anxious, I kept going and then um, continued lang ako dun sa work ko dun sa hospital na pinagtatrabawuan ko. Um, and then I was like, uh, there's, I, I couldn't control anything. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, and then following up uh, with Kate Cowhig and Abba back and forth. Um, and then eventually um, I was hopeless. I was really hopeless about my application. Um, and then I was talking to friends um, here in Ireland. A good friend of mine, Rexis, he already started um, his um, adaptation in University Hospital Limerick um, January 2018. And I was still waiting for, uh, for, for a job offer. He just advised me to, you know, to, to, to wait and to be patient about it and that everything's gonna work out in the end. You know, guys, um, February they offered me a job. 
as a staff nurse in Limerick. So, you know, nakahinga na ako ng malubag na. So, it's it's not really over until nasa airplane ka na, tilibot ka na. Because parang pwede, meron pa rin pwede mangyari in between the time you time they told me uh, na pupunta na ako ng Ireland and the time na bago ako lumipad, you know. Um, I was still thinking negatively about things, which I don't really recommend for you guys to do. Please don't do it. So finally, April April 17, 2018, um, we flew from the Philippines to Ireland. So that's the end of my Ireland application as a nurse. This is not a very technical guide for nursing application for Ireland, but this is just an experience that I want to share to you, um, to my fellow nurses who are aspiring to, to work here in Ireland. And that what I want you to get from this video is that the application process is not easy, but it's very doable. I want to impart to you as well is having experienced the difficult process of the application. I want you to trust that uh, na envision yun sarili nyo na I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna work there, I'm gonna live there. Um, you know, I want this life. If you really want it, the universe will give it to you if you just put your trust in it. So guys, keep on persevering, keep on pushing, and maintain a positive mindset. And yeah, as the saying goes, good things come to those who wait. So yeah, with that being said, um, if you're thinking of coming to Ireland, don't think twice. Ireland is a beautiful, beautiful country and it's gonna offer you a lot of um, things that you're, you're gonna enjoy. Don't stop and don't quit when it gets hard because, um, you know, we're nurses. We are all capable of doing a lot of things that we can, you know, if you can think about it, you can um, achieve it. Continue dreaming, my co-nurses, and um, good luck sa inyong nursing journey. Good luck sa inyong um, application. And with that, mabuhay tayong mga Filipino nurses abroad. Um, I salute you all. And to all the nurses who's watching this video, and um, hope to see you guys on my next video. And if you haven't subscribed already to this channel, please do subscribe to my channel, Nurse Ventura, at your service. Um, see you next time. Bye.